Okay, welcome to Surviving Horizon Zero Dawn. I'm your host, Frosty8536. Man, will I ever get my title or this intro right? Who knows? Um, but as you can see, we are moving up to the Grave Horde. But as you can see, we have some adversary adversarial blockage up at the top sounds very oh, medical i'm not showing any focuses at that location shouldn't be anything you can't handle on your own carry on thanks on my own all right okay so we have a few eclipses up here um i think there are not too many of them it looks like only a few but where there are a few like roaches you know there are many more Okay, looks like there's a watcher there as well. Okay, so we have three bandits now. Do we take them out first or do we take the watcher out first? Who knows? Anyway, while we have this little bit of lull, just that I let you know that this is <laughs> the second time that I'm recording um, this particular episode. And there's a reason why, and I figured it, finally figured it out. Um, the reason being is that um, the disk space that encases the temp files on my on my laptop was um, was full. So I had to. So while I was recording, it wasn't actually recording. Let's take this guy out quickly. There we go. So I had to do some deleting, and now I'm re-recording this. You're not going to be the one to surprise, stop. Surprise! Surprise! Okay, so okay, so we've taken out the bandits. Now it's just this guy. Cool. Whoopsie! And it's a good thing that we dodged that one. Um, could have taken him out with my arrow, but looks like I didn't. Me. Okay, the good news is that um, upon going through the first half of this of this um, playthrough, doing the uh, voiceover, there's not too much speaking that I have to do because there are a few interesting factoids that we will be that we'll be listening to. Um, some data things, spoiler alert. So. Um, definitely know what is coming up so i'm trying to um be as surprised as possible one of the things that i can definitely tell you is that i definitely need some more healing potions and stuff now as you can see in the distance you'll see that that is a metal devil um as we found out is known as the horus and then everything around us is basically other things now that looks like a tank and a shadow of a metal devil hmm. great this place looks really interesting but we need to be careful okay looks like we have an access point so we're about to enter the Grave Horde. But we need to be careful because, as you can see, there's a watcher there. And there are some bandits over there. So we need to be very careful. Just know that we're going to be doing a little bit of exploring as we're down here as well. Okay, so first... Bandits. Down. Whoop. Not yet. Go. Oh, you got me before I killed him. Oh, and this guy is armored. Okay, so we need to probably take out the watcher first. Oh, not very good. This. Oh, see what I mean? This guy is armored up. Oh, and I'm nearly out. It. There Time we go. Look around the room. And now we have to use up some of my healing 
Great, so we're down to one vial. Never a good thing, but at least we can get some herbs as we walking around. Nice thing about these caves is that they have those heating shrooms. Enduring victory. What did hmm. that mean? Whatever a few it was, dark points it around. Seem to have turned out very well. A few data points as well, so we can have a look at those. But still, let's scavenge. Might as well. Enduring victory. Sounds pretty ominous. Hmm. There's a corruptor as well, so but this one looks quite old and deactivated. My favorite kind, deactivated. Hmm. I think some of these data logs were actually made like 300 years ago or 200. That's hectic. Titan inbound, same play as Akron. Base defense locks it down. We engage, sever the lens, blast out the fountains. Another day in the life. Rickets are very close. Now can we be on point? Hurrah! Are you getting this, hmm. Silence? Silence? Ooh, another one. Looks like quite an enduring victory we put our foot in today. Contact in 30 seconds. Hey, think that's enough time for Sobek to finish Zero Dawn? <laughs> <laughs> if this is really it, I gotta say, it's been an honor to serve beside these tanks. <laughs> Here it comes. Grease for contact! Silence, you getting this? What is it? All these soldiers. They died here. People die all the time. I'll keep going and find something interesting. <sighs> That's a bit terrible. Say it again, Lieutenant. I got so. Titan is through the defenses. Still on approach. Ah, crap. A live one. And it's best. We got no mobility in here. It'll punch right through us. We hold the hedge at all costs. Then push back out. Hmm. Okay, so this was the, I guess, last line of defense, and these machines were anything but lazy, that's for sure. Okay, so exploring around, let's see if we can find some herbs and stuff. Okay, it doesn't look like anything over here. So we should be fine. Hmm. I'm actually quite interested to finding out what we actually find at the end of this part of the journey. Okay, so they set up some kind of bar like defense or barricade. But obviously, there are other people here because I don't think that that people like. Um, the ones from from the past could have set these things up so they are naturally eclipse eclipse bandits um the further on we go down hopefully they haven't gone that far hmm. crazy Okay, we're just checking out um, all the boxes, see if we can take anything else out of them. 
Hopefully we have some <coughs> eating vials. We can keep it in there. There we go. Some other stuff. Health boost. Definitely stuff we can use. And there seems to be one or two boxes that have not been opened yet, which is fine. We can use all of that. Definitely useful. Okay. I think we're going to have to craft some health potions as well. There we go. So, there we have six full health potions and a few partial ones. I think we'll probably use, use those first. Definitely useful. Okay, I think now we can start making our way down to make sure that we are okay so we have a stealth weave on this one uh resist corruption 27 percent there we go we can add another modifier to it if we need <coughs> let's not worry about that that too much. Hunting bow sorted. So we should be fine on that side. Okay, let's go further down. Looks like instead of going up like last time, we have to go down. But we just need to be careful that we don't drop. We don't want that. Uh, there seems to be a ledge that we can drop down, so that's good. And then there seems to be some activity going down there. I think we need to proceed with caution. The utmost caution. There we go. Looks like there's something down there that we can we can drop onto. Ah. Nope. Let's try that again. Oh. Okay, something tells me we can't go back that way. Okay, there's a supply crate on that side, so maybe we can have a look at that. Anyway, so as we're doing this, um, one of the things that I think one or two people have asked me is why I say take care of yourselves and each other at the end of all my um, videos. So the reason why is that I've, I've actually, I'm actually paying homage to a person, ironically, that has passed away as well. Um, oh, missed that completely. Um, the name is, and you'll be quite surprised that I actually listened, um, or actually watched his shows back in the day when I was still in varsity high school, was, um, the Jerry Springer show. So, um, I think it was this year, Jerry Springer passed away, um, which is, you know, quite hectic. Um, I know that he didn't live a great life um but he tried to make he, he tried to make amends um you know especially with his family so kudos to him on that okay jumping up over here so um yeah so when i say take care of yourselves and each other it's the same thing that he used to say so um yeah there's a fact on that just thought i'd add that as a little bit of a snippet while we're going through this Okay, so now we add a few. Okay, so we add a few. Audio point. So let's um have a listen. Log. Third battle of California Marine. The storm came in from the Pacific, and I don't know if it was the local Minutemen or the crazy 15th, but. 
They'd set the garbage patch alight. Man, the sea was on fire. That stuff was pain. The first wave of bots came in covered in burning sludge. They bought us an hour or two of slaughtering them on the beaches before the swarm recalculated. We pulled them inland, back to the Kalmar sprawl. Dropped buildings on them, EMP'd the grid. Standard operating procedure. <sighs> the last time I was in California, I was... five, six? The light was like that vintage social net filter that was everywhere in the 40s. So these machines were able to adapt um, their strategy. That is really terrible. But these ones don't, so that's very strange. Log. First battle of the Eastern Seaboard Wall. Had a long run up to it. This was before Kalmar, and projections were a lot worse for the East. For three weeks, we kept getting scrambled out to some coastal burb to train Minutemen. It was always raining on account of Europe already being torched. Block after block of prefab barracks. They were still printing barracks right up until the hour the main force hit. The Minutemen? We ran combat what drills with them in the streets where they'd lived, trying to pretend they might live to die somewhere else if they paid attention. Nothing worse than the ones who actually bought into it. Hopeful, pestering us with questions about Zero Dawn, like we know something they don't. I swear, the more we do this, the more like the bots we are. Except they learn from every fight. Hmm. Us? I'm not so sure. Now I wonder who these Minutemen were. Recalls, I've been instructed to remind you of Article 115 of Base Policy regarding unauthorized use of processor cycles. Specifically 115C. Any holographic simulation not directly related to operational training or efficiency. Consider yourself reminded. And enjoy your gaming. Hmm. Interesting. Thanks for the mails, you. Time goes fast in active duty. Four months with the wreck and recalls. I don't know. Twenty drops. In and out of the West Coast, fighting with these civilian enlistees, scrappy guys and gals. Their training is basically here's a DEW. When you see a bot, hit it. <laughs> Somehow it's all coming together. Between us and the 6th MRB, we took down a horse at Lithium Beach. Pulled out before its buddies arrived, but to see a big one go down. I hope you made the news, honey. Showed everyone we're gonna have a shot at turning this around. We just need to give Project Zero Dawn the time it needs. That everything will be the way it used to be. I wonder what Zero Dawn was. I know it's been days, honey. I'm so sorry. Deployments are getting real long and tougher every time. The swarm is getting better at predicting us. Less of us now. And we have to put in ten times the work for everyone gone. Like a family business on hard times, only... This isn't... Hmm. Like a family business on hard times, only... This isn't my family. It's not with you. I still try to see you. The life we had in the eyes of the people out there. I remember when they were glad to see us. When they still had hope. It all seems to be slipping away. I don't even recognize the places we're defending. The only thing I know I'm still fighting for is... You. The Zero Dawn to turn this around. Or whatever the hell that is. Wow. Okay, so they were probably fighting for a while. The Does furnishings sound... were metal. How'd they ever get comfortable? It was the metal world. Guess they were used to it. Because to be quite honest, I mean, yo. I mean, to that sounded like a guy that was, um, that was fighting for for quite a number of months, even years. And I can't even imagine being at war with machines or even other humans for that long. Just one bed. Maybe they're war chiefs from. Okay, some data logs. I can always read that later. Okay. 
Okay, and then... Oh, there it is. Let's have a look at this one. Nothing this way. Oh, what's in here? I know, same place. War Chief. I like the way that Adoy put it. Okay. Uh, that is the next part that we need to get to. And it looks like that is the only way. So you can see that there is a big area over here that we need to get to. Almost looks like... Uh, the head of that Horus type machine. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go to the next level. There's a ledge over there, so we should be able to get down. There we go. Best to do it that way. And then there's Look another ledge. <clears throat> Let's try and be careful. Don't want to hurt ourselves. Okay, let's look around. Okay, it doesn't look like there's much to, to go down on. <laughs> That's what she said. Uh, okay, yeah, we can go down nice slowly and sh slowly but surely. And it looks like we are nearing this part. We have to go further down. Just have to be careful, otherwise we don't want to hurt ourselves and, and break something that we we can't fix. Okay, further on down, a lot of light, but it looks like it's not the the same light as <coughs> the Eclipse Bandits. So yeah. Okay, so we need to get through the, here. And it looks like it's locked. And that door will lead us to that big room over there. I'm also guessing that there are bandits on the other side. Or machines that... So Red we have light. to be careful. Guess that means no power. Okay, so we need to restore power. It looks like we could have to go that way. And the music already tells me that... We will some we will have some difficulties. My focus cannot get Whatever through that this wall. Door should be close by. Okay. So let's look around. Hopefully there is there are no enemies. Okay. These so here we go. Must run to the power source. And it looks like there's a puzzle I need to solve as well. Power around here. Okay. Looks like there are two mm, areas. That's informative. Just need to figure out how to get there. Okay, so maybe we can leave that for last. And let's take the other two down at the bottom of here. Alright, let's scope it out. <coughs> Looks like we need to figure out the combination as well. Okay. Right. So it's a hollow lock. That's the last one. So yeah, let's have a look. And then there are also a series of hollow locks on that side. So let's look at this oh, one first, perhaps. There must be some kind of code. Maybe Kay. I should try scanning objects in this area. That's a good idea. Maybe we can find the code. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, looks like I found the first one, but. Maybe I'll leave that for a second. Maybe look at the, the next um, set of blocks. Because that one looks a little bit harder to figure out. What are those? Okay. Now those ones are the ones that I saw when I was up there. Okay. Right, let's have a look at those ones. Maybe start with the difficult ones first. 
that one looks easy to do. But that one's not showing any combinations, so let's explore that one. Sort that one out first. Okay, now you see, can't see anything. It's not gonna help. Hey, what's this? Y'all wanted to know how I remember the geotherm system reboot? Goes like this. Bird flies north in summer, east in spring, west in fall, and south in winter. Didn't expect to hear nature poem free from the lips of Mike the GT Tech now, did you? As mm. usual, I defy expectations. <laughs> well, thanks, Mike. Okay, so that means that um, flies north is, is up, um, east is right. West is left, and then I assume that the last one is going to be south. Hopefully, let's find out. Time to go south for the winter, and again. Three power lines, three sources. That makes one. Okay, the first one is done. That's good. Very nice. It even shows, I guess. All right, now the next combination. You can even see that it's showing power. That's good. All right, so let's go to <coughs> the second one. That one looks easy. Let's just look at the combination, though. So it is up, up, down, down. Okay, so the first two are fine. It's these two on the right that need to be readjusted. That's fine. Again. So it's down. Good. And then down over here. Again. That's two. One more. Okay. Now we just need to get to that one. Okay. Let's think about how we're going to get there. Okay. It should be easy. Let's go up the ladder. Wrong side. Let's go up the ladder. And then we can take it from there. Up you go. There we go. Alright. And it looks like we can go onto that ledge over there. Yeah, there we go. And then just hit that hit that cable over there. Alright. And there we go. All right. And then that one shows me in the corner what the combination is. That's good. So up, down, left, right. Up, down, left, right. Okay. First one sorted. Second one needs to be turned down. And then left. And then finally right. Okay, that did it. Sounds okay. Like that did it. Right. Now we can continue exploring. But still I get this feeling that that when I open that door I'm gonna see some something I'm not going to like. Bandits, watches. Machines, probably bigger. Who knows? Alright, so let's go down here. Okay, down, down. There we go. Alright, up the ladder we go. And through the door in the next few minutes. Or the next few seconds. Like I said, got to be careful. Okay, there's power and we can get through. Good, so um, that is the next point that we need to see. And that point is going to lead us to the main entrance, I guess, or the main bunker. So let's open up and let's look around. Yo, what a noise. But there they all are. Okay, so there are a lot of Eclipse bandits, but only one machine. Okay, so let's... Uh, 
let's tag him. Looks like there are quite a few, and then there's one that looks like he has. He's heavily armed. There's the. Okay, so quite a few. We should be able to take him out. Okay, get some herbs. That's good. There's a. Oh, a power cell. Is that a power cell? Ah, oh, another power cell. Ah. This should help me get to that ancient armor. Okay, that's definitely going to help because we want to get that that ancient armor. It might actually help us. Okay, so we have some bandits over here. Um, I think we might have an advantage because it's just an entrance over here. So what I think there are two strategies. The first is that I go out there and I take them out um, stealthily which is an idea. Second idea is that I lure them up here and take them out. So I make my distance and I just shoot them. That's the other thing. So definitely a few options that I have, but I think I'm going to take them out stealthily first. Okay, we took out one. Did anybody notice? Okay. The machine is the one that I have to worry about. Okay, so let's take up this guy. Ooh, flip. Okay. That wasn't good. I want to take out as many as I can before I alert them. Because we don't want that. Okay, let's take out another one from Who's here. Firing at me? Damn, okay. Okay, let's bring them all up here. Looks like they're gonna come after me now. So I just need to be careful. Looks like there are gonna be quite a few coming up here, which is fine. If we can pincer them, if we can bottleneck them down like, uh, like Sparta. Like the 300, we can do it. Cancel the search down okay here comes another one. Oh, and I've run out of ammo great okay oh not good okay we took out another one okay you see the one I'm worried about is that heavily armed one Seems to be only one of them, and he looks like he's coming up to greet me. Great. Okay, so we just need to restock on some arrows. Maybe this is a better way to do it, because if we try and do it the other way, like do it in real time, um, we're going to get our asses handed to us. So let's craft them in the main menu. Okay, we sorted with um, the tear blast arrows. Precision arrows will probably be the best. There we I go. Oh. Okay, we're gonna have to take up the that heavy that heavy guy. Okay, it looks like we, we're making good good progress. Can we get him? Oh, it's not the right one. Okay, is he going to come up? Yeah, he's coming up. Take him out now. Oh, almost. There we go. Okay, now it's just for that... Looks like it's the machine. And do we have him? Oh, it All looks right. like it's new plan. Okay. 
I think we got all of them, guys. All right. They're not looking for answers. Okay, that worked. That worked out a little bit better for us, which is great. Okay, uh, let's now get our spoils. Okay, good stuff. Okay. All right, and there's that heavy, heavy weapons. That um, yeah, let's not even try that. Okay. Very interesting. I think this is going to work out um, quite well for us. So um, we can do some exploring Can't now. Can't be too prepared. Definitely not be too prepared. So we can look around. I think that'll be the best thing to do before we go any further. Okay. All right. Maybe we can get some herbs as well. Okay. There we go. Sorted. Nice. So there's some, I think they're more like mushrooms. There's a crate over here. So, you know, these Eclipse Bandits um, really had their way over here, I see. But let's be careful. Um, maybe we'll be able to, to find some other stuff over here. That's That'll be interesting to find out. Let's go up here. Maybe we can find some more supplies doesn't look like it okay some good hiding places for these bandits I think what we did was the best course of action we we um, bottlenecked all of them and took out most of them which is um, not a bad idea it did the job but obviously that can't happen all the time we got lucky plain and simple okay so bandits thank you another bandits yo okay let's look up over here see if there's anything doesn't look like it but I must say that I'm quite chuffed with myself. I mean, to take them out at that distance is... Um, usually can't get it right. I mean, I haven't been getting it right. And here is the scrapper. Took him out a few times. So I'm quite chuffed with myself, I must admit. Um, obviously, as I said, it's not going to be something that we can do all the time. I don't know when I might need these. No, we'll definitely need it. Something tells me that that's going to be the case. Um, you know, it, it can't happen all the time, but when it does, I like to think that, you know, I can make good use of it. Okay. Right. Next on the list now is to get to the other side. And looks like the best way to do that is on this pillar. Okay. Which we are doing. And there's a ledge right there. So can we do it? Yep, got it. Not bad, Aloy. Now, this is the point where I realized that um, <laughs> that I didn't that it wasn't recording properly. So now I do not know what is going to happen next. So I, I must say I am very interested in finding out what's, what's going to happen next. We need to be on that side. I know that. But now we need to find out how we're going to get there. There must be a ledge somewhere. Okay, I see it. Well, I see it, but... Uh, it doesn't look like anybody else can so we need to move past there and that didn't help my mistake again hopefully it did not um, it, it did not bite me in the ass now that wasn't good okay all right not bad okay we're, we're, we're back to a point where we can check it out okay good stuff uh, let's go down here first maybe we can find a way across
across, otherwise we're going to have to maybe run and jump. Okay. It looks like... Is there anything here? Okay, at least we know that we're here. No ledges. Okay. Doesn't look like it. Nope. No ledges, so we're going to have to go back, probably. Let's try and climb up here. Okay, so we're going to have to go that way. At least we know where the ledges are. We just need to figure out how to how to get there ourselves. There must be a way. Maybe from that ledge? Uh, maybe it's a run and jump thing. Okay. We'll be able to do it. It's um, It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. Or it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of time. So let's do it. Okay. Uh, nothing there. Okay, so we need to go that side. Can we? What can we do? What can we do? Doesn't look like there's any ledge on that side. So we're going to have to do it that side and then run and jump. see there we go okay so we managed to bypass the system nice to know we can didn't expect it but it is definitely what we needed to do because now we're on the other side thank goodness okay so let's be careful that we don't find any other bandits over here oh found some more data points I like so before we go there, let's check these out. Let's see what they have to say. Thanks for the mails, you. Time goes fast in active duty. Four months with the wreck and recalls. Fighting with these civilian enlistees. Scrappy guys and gals. That's all coming together. Between us and the 6th MRB, we took down a horse. I hope you made the news, honey. Showed everyone we're turning this around. We just need to give Project Zero Dawn the time it needs. Wasn't that what we heard earlier? Is this some kind of censorship? I know it's been days, honey. I'm so sorry. Deployments, uh getting real long we have to put into work for everyone like a family business i still see you in the eyes of the people out there they were glad to see us they still had hope i'm still fighting for you oh my goodness okay so they edited and approved those messages status report ninth mechanized response brigade commanding officer lieutenant fiona morale Unit morale continues to be adversely impacted by outbound engagements against the Pharaoh Plague. Especially when said engagements occur in sectors where civilian guard enlistees have been heavily engaged. The scope and nature of fatalities suffered by civilian guard and unarmed civilians in these sectors defy description. And witnessing it is generating a pervasive sense of hopelessness in the unit. Accordingly, I once again request that deployments of the 9th MRB be temporarily refocused on facilities that are mission critical to Project Zero Dawn. And once again, I request an immediate update on the status of Project Zero Dawn's timeline. Did you ever get that timeline? Ames, I know I mail you too much. I'm just proud of what you're doing. Everyone back home is. We got moved inland 10 kilometers, just as a precaution, they say. School's still in session, so I get to keep my eye on Andrews and Reggie. We never know where or when you're fighting. But when the VTOLs go over, all the kids run out and wave. I believe in you. 
I know nothing's ever going to be the same, but I believe in you. I believe in us. Hmm. Ames, I don't even know if you're alive anymore. The mails I get from you, they say they're from you, but they don't sound... They sound recycled. Mm. Phrases put together, and you don't say anything about the news I pass on. The containment zone, the rebreathers, the rioting, one Earth. What happened in the Dallas bubble, Ames? That wasn't the robots. They won't even give me a straight answer when I demand to know if you're still alive. They just say if your messages keep coming, then you're still operational. It's not fair, Ames. It's not fair that you won't be with me when the lights go out. I love you. That's so sad. Oh my goodness. How can some humans live with themselves by doing that? The government's way of covering up what is really happening. But then again, that's what usually happens these days. I just wish they they would have been more evolved by then. Okay, so we're going to have to use the console over here. But before we do... Let's see what's in the crate. Let's check all crates. And then we can see what the what that is about. Okay. And looks like we have Okay. What is that? Let's check this out first. Data points. Employment records. Check that out a little bit later. Okay, let's see what. Um, oh, who's on this side? Let's check the projector. What is this? That? It's a map. A map of what? Our world. The planet Earth, Aloy. It's not flat like you thought. Why would I think that? During eclipses, the shadow cast on the moon is curved. So our world is a globe. And it looks like this, from a distance. Look, uh, we'll discuss this another time. Back to the matter at hand. The Faro robots were spreading across the world, eating everything up. Somehow, Elizabeth stopped them before it was too late. But how? And that's a very good question and hopefully we will be checking it out okay so our next point now is over there i'm actually thinking do we have enough time to it looks like we can actually um check it out so let's be careful i don't know we just need to be very careful Okay, there's nothing in this room and it's very quiet mm -hmm. oh dear shrooms all around and a supply crate it can only mean one thing boss battle time okay let's um make sure that we have all the armaments that we need. Okay. Because something tells me we're in for a shit show. Eclipse. Tampering with the metal devil. But they don't think they can wake it, do they? Watch out! Have to 
take out this bastard. Another Kobish. And this one can move. Well, Aloy. Now what? Okay, guys. This is where we start shitting ourselves. Last time we were lucky because the other that other one couldn't move that well. I'm thinking, do we take out do we take out the eclipse while we add it? Uh, do we want to? Is this the best way to do it? So we're gonna have to like go. shit there are more than just two of them that's not good oh okay time to heal up okay this is gonna be a tough one guys and then we have this guy to deal with as well Take it out. Okay. Oh, and it can take out these objects over here. This isn't good. This isn't good. We're gonna have to. Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Aye. That's not gonna work. Oh, so when it attacks, it opens up. That's good. Okay. Alright. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Another one. Oh, nearly got it. Oh, damn. Okay. Oh, didn't expect that one. Getting. Oh, I don't like the sound that it's making, though. Okay. Oh, did I get it? Okay, looks like this looks like this guy's Oh, okay, maybe we can find a place that we can hide. No, it's not much of a place. Oh yeah. Uh, is it gonna walk our way? Yep, there we go. Okay, if we can keep our distance, that's gonna help a lot, guys. Damn. Okay, it's not working as well as I thought it would. Oh! And it's quite indestructible. There we go. Okay, did it work? Oh, got it. Okay. Okay. Come on. Oh, man. Okay. We're probably going to run out of stuff if we don't... If we don't move it. Okay. Got some herbs. Let's use it. Oh! Work. Uh, it's not working. 
me as well. Ooh. This isn't good. Come on, come on, come on. It's not working. There we go. Okay, so let's use those instead. Mm. Nothing yet. Okay, let's keep our distance. Let's keep our distance. Okay, some more. Okay, if we if we side one, there we go. Ouch. Take the other one out. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. Ah. Watch out. Okay, we can still do this. We can still do this. Oh, man. Okay. Alright, we can do it guys. We're so close. So, so close. These precision arrows are going to be my, my best bet. Of oh man. Okay, so we just sidewind. Oh, still nothing. Run, 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 run. Oh, no. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. Uh, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Let's watch. Let's watch. Damn, okay. There we go, there we go. I think we we have something. Let's take it out. Uh, oh, damn. Okay, we're so close. Okay, so we got something. There we go. Whoa. No, there we go. go that's one oh man okay let's run out of the way get some more survive on the shrooms okay you know guys even if this is easy it's not exactly that easy okay quick there we go there we go. Uh, okay, we're nearly there, guys. And I think this is... Whoa! And we got him. Damn. Okay. Damn. Okay. Let's, let's check out this guy. So... Yeah, guys, we made it. So we had to side one, but we, we managed to do it. Now we're going to check out the war room. But before we do, where's the war room? Over there. So we can make it. But I think what we'll do is we'll end it over here. Um, once again, guys, thank you so much for all your support and all of that. So we're just taking out this guy and we got what we needed. Oh, there's something on this, on this guy that we can take. Oh, nice. Excellent upgrades, and I think we'll get those. So thank you for your support, guys. Um, this took a lot longer to do because of the, the problems that I had, but in our next episode, we will be going into the war room, and we're going to find out what um, what is potting. Maybe there'll be a new piece to the puzzle that we can um, that we can check out. So I'm going to end it over here, guys. Um, once we get this last modification. Um, so until next time, guys, as Jerry Springer said, would say, take care of yourselves and each other.